Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's episode of This Is Not For Me. And when it comes to things that are not for me, it's crab fishing in this game. Nope. Don't like it. Won't do it anymore. Why? Why don't I like crab fishing? Well, let's see. It takes absolutely forever to just set out the pots. And then once you have the pots out, taking them back out, doing all the work, getting them back in the water, takes twice forever. Plus, we are dealing with so little product, right? There's so little product really coming through that the people that are sorting the crab, it takes them half a lifetime to just learn how to do the job properly. So I assume that, well, maybe if they know more and they're better, they'll, you know, they'll get us more. But these numbers, 100, 288, I get it. That's probably a lot. For crab fishing, that's probably a lot. But when I got to fill 140,000 with crab at 200, 300 a time, yeah, I'd rather do fishing then because I like money and I don't like working hard. It took me a long time, a long time to set. Uh, let's see, how many pots did we set total? We set a total of, you know, but the, the setting them back and all that stuff. We probably set a total of 110 pots. And after we had 80 or so of them pulled, 90 maybe, we were at 12,000 kilos. So I don't know if that's good or not, but it certainly isn't good if I want to make money. And then, as I was pulling in all the pots from yet another successful, amazing trip on the ocean, this happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's the pot just being stuck. It's not coming up. It's not going back in the water. It's going nowhere. We tried some some magic here because, you know, we do have a fast boat. Nothing. Nothing. And it was at this moment I knew crab fishing is not for me. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of you out there. There are amazing crab fishermen, and you're making millions off of this. I don't know what I'm doing. So if you are an amazing crab fisherman, raise your hand by hitting the like button. And if you are like me, and you don't know what the hell you're doing, and this is not for you, you should hit the sub button. And then both of you should high five and flip and hit the like and sub button again. In an ironic twist of fate, I have sold all our boats, every single one, especially the ones for crab fishing, then purchased a larger crabbing boat that you can set for long line. And we are back to just, just pulling out fish out of the ocean and filling the boat with fish corpses. You don't have to do much at all. You just drag them out of the ocean. You gut them if you want a little bit more money. There is no freezing. There is no stacking. Nothing. Just just hoard all the fish. Cram it in the boat. Make lots of money. It's fantastic. I think this thing is called the Arctic Pioneer. The Arctic something. The Arctic Fish Murderer. But it is here. And it's going to make us rich now setting these lines take a while all right they, they need a thousand meters per and you can't go very fast it takes a bit luckily enough you can just you know you can find other things to um to pass the time with you could play games with your crew you can do little practical jokes, or we can check out these boats that are out here at the windmills. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping they're not actually putting down that, uh, that you know, cable or whatnot. Because I'm filling this area with my lines and, well, 50,000 hooks. But it's easy. It's easy. Look, you know, he starts, he puts that in there. There's no work. Nobody has to operate a wonky crane. Nothing. It's, what's up, buddy? Hello. Hi. It just works. Just works. Just drops it in the water. Fish show up. And you had to put shrimp on this. You, you got to bait this. 10,000 hooks that got to be baited. Luckily enough, I found some high school kids in port. And they will do that cheap. Cheap. So it's very easy. Very easy to get it here. Look, look no equipment really needed. It's a nice big open deck that we can just fill. Fill with dead fish. Like piles of it. No, nothing advanced at all. They probably go inside. Okay, I get it. They go inside the actual boat. But I like the visual of like a dragon's horde of just fish. Just just a big pile of fish like it was gold. I like the visual. Okay. And again, setting the long lines, this is the not so exciting part of it. It's great. You can do a lot of other things while you're setting the long lines. For example, you can go out here, you can set the long lines, and you can check out, like, you know, whatever you got. Whatever you got coming into the wheelhouse. There's a big TV in there. We'll check it out later. The big TV in there, you can bring in, uh, you can have movies on there. You can, you can play video games i'm sure you can get something going and get yourself a, a console or something it's easy you don't have to do anything you're the captain you're the captain and all this boat has to do is go straight forward while somebody works at the back you know feeding out the the line and it doesn't get much harder when you swoop back around to start picking them up because there's so much fish there's so much fish that has to be touched that they learn super fast and you'll see that they'll, they'll learn so fast like the, the most of them already know how to do machine gutting and all that because they've done that before on our trawler but they learn so fast and that means we get maximum yield very quickly not this whole like let's spend five seasons out being crabbers real life shenanigans where it takes time to learn your trade and you know no this this is the ticket. We got five test lines in the water. The crew is on our way out, and we're going to get started. Oh, apparently we are going to help. All right. So we're going to help while the... Hello? Okay. Hi. We are going to... We both are going to help. We're both going to get this fish up from this I, I like to point out i like to point out that um there's a surprising amount of work that has gone into this character model or a character model you barely see right like i don't see these bros much from the wheelhouse but look at that you know i can probably see his cavities he doesn't have a tongue which is a little you know but there's some cavities going on there bloodshot eyes because we're working I like that. That's actually, that's a lot of detail that I did not expect. I did not expect. There's no, there's no upper teeth though, are there? But yeah. Hi. But we're going to get this fish out uh, regardless if we're in somebody's uh, face or not, or if he's in our face. But look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. It's just hook, chuck, done. Easy. PC and the guys behind you they're just gonna start and um, and gut that fish make you some extra money I right, can I be done now can you can you do the work I can go back to my responsibilities thank you all right 45,000 45,000 that's a lot of fish I mean so this took us a little bit to get the 45,000 
you know, kilos of fish. And of course, we have to set the line behind and whatnot. But let's check the logbook here. Let's check. 45,000. That's 32,000 kilos of cod. It's cod season. It's cod season. I have a feeling this wasn't a super good catch, actually, in this area. But 32,000. And what are they, like nine per kilo? That's 288,000. That's a lot of money just for cod. A lot more money than we would have made in the same time piddling up one or two crabs from the bottom of the ocean. Sorry, but we are going to do fish sticks instead of crab legs. Besides fish sticks, they go in like fish tacos. And if you don't like fish tacos, that's your problem. Yeah. But we have continued down the line. Uh, it's, it's, it's important as the captain that you supervise the employees. And Mike, Michael, um, who works here on, on the hook, you know, to get the fish out, he has a technique. He has a special technique where he can get the fish spinning so hard. Look at this fish. That's just because how he gets it off that hook, you know, and then whoop, and then it just it just spins. So he's going to get a bonus when we get back to port for this. Not because it does anything to the fish or we make any more money or anything, but because it looks great. It looks great and it gives me something to do while we sit here and wait on making money. So the fishing continues. Now it looks like we're getting about an average of between 45 and 50,000 kilos off of each line. And about 75% of that has been caught, which is what the season is and what we're really out there trying to find. The rest, I mean, obviously we'll get some money as long as it's still in season. But that means to fill up the boat Maybe we need 10 lines. I don't know if this is based on, you know, Mike's skill of, of catching and stuff. Maybe if I was there and doing it, we could get more. But we got to train him up, you know, because, I, again, I don't want to be out on deck. It's cold out there. It's rainy. You know, I get salt water splashed in my eyes and they're very sensitive. So we're trying to avoid that. So we're going to guess. We're going to make the guess that 10 lines is what we need to fill the boat. And then we probably have a four hour jog back. We're gonna unload and a four hour jog out. So I say we drop 10 lines, then give them like a 10 hour break until we drop the next set of 10 lines. And hopefully that rotation should start working out okay. Eight, 10. I'll figure it out, but we're gonna continue that in our next video. Because this is a lot, there's a lot of sitting here and just dropping a bunch of hooks in the water. You have been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out. I know that you agree with me uh, because otherwise, you know, can't be on the boat. That's, that's the rule. You have to agree with the captain or you can't be on the boat. So great. Thank you so much. We will see you on the next one. And if you figure out, if you figure out how to make millions off of crabbing, please let us know. Please let us know. I'm never going to go back. Well, I might because there's a big, there's a big expensive boat. Like the biggest boat in the game is a crabbing vessel. So I guess if we are pushing for that goal of that $30 million boat, we kind of need to figure out the crabbing. So if you have figured it out, please let me know. If you haven't figured it out, just let me know about that too so that i can feel good about myself about not figuring out either all right that's enough see you on the next one deuces oh oh it's just a guy hanging out <laughs> 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 this is more boring than i thought it would be hey greg right right right, right. I can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just <laughs> <laughs>